need to cloak myself here. This area is off limits. You see it? Oh, mon Dieu. Just know, Charles will never honor our bond with you, Northerners. Unlike him, my word can be trusted. Ha! You are no more than a wounded dog at my table looking for scraps! How dare you! Wait! 
Eivor! Finally, we can talk sense. What of Rishadis? Did you encounter Charles? Rishadis yet lives. Charles does not. This is an unexpected gift! That makes today a day for our celebration! Skull! Sante! It has been curious to know you, Eivor. You are as enigmatic as any Northerner I have met. Here's hoping there are more like you. I must go now and attend the throne. I wish you a safe journey back to England. Your greatest challenges lie before you, Count Odo. I hope you have the strength. As do I. Is it wise to put our trust in him? You should not trust Odo, or any other leader in his lands. Not fully. Odo's duty is to his people. As is mine. And as long as your ambitions do not cross his, there can be a reprieve from the bloodshed. I have much to consider. Stay true to your honor and bring glory to your people. If you do that, you cannot fail. I will send word should the Franks grow an appetite for England again. To your relations with Odo, consider returning to him the lands that Charles pledged to Siegfried. No. Those lands are compensation for the hardship he has caused us. Odo kept Paris. That is enough. You sound more yarl like all the time. And now I must think of my own people, whom I've been away from for too long. Before you go, have this. It was my father, Sinrix, the second best leader and teacher I have known. It has been my honor. I hope to lead as well as you do, Eivor. If ever you hunger for more Frankish cheese, I will be happy to share. <laughs> Farewell, Toka. <laughs> 